Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for December 12th, 2021. Clear message here. All right, give us a message for the Aries. One card, please. I'm using the lovers. A few cards came out. Let's see. Time. Okay. A card that flew across the table. So we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. All right, let's get one from the cup right here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we have gifts. Okay, number 17. And at the bottom of the deck, we have unexpected income. Let's pull one more from the Kipper. Thank you. Wow. I expected that. All right. Sudden wealth as well. Number 11. We have number 17. At the bottom of the deck, we have distant horizons. All right. We're going to pull one here from the Romance Angels to have it out here on the table. Give us one card from the romance. Angels, please, Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you. All right. And we have deception here, and it's in reverse. But it says someone is wearing a false self mask in the relationship. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have release your ex and finances and career. So give us one more here. Thank you. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Give us one more. Thank you. And we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to look up your message for the Aries Collective. We have cards flying out. Show me clearly what they need to see. Here, show me clearly. These deck cards are always so hard to shuffle. All right, what do we need to see here for the Aries? All right, so we have the death card, this first card that came out. What is the challenge? Oof, that, I saw that card trying to come out. We have the Ten of Swords. Oof, and we have the Devil. But the Death, the Ten of Swords, a lot of uh, dark energy here. All right, so what is advice from Spirit? Oof, jeez, and the Tower came out. I'm going to leave it. Okay. We have the Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess. And the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. Three of Wands, excuse me. And the Tower came out after. Let me take it here. All right, the bottom of the deck of the Ace of Pentacles. What is coming in the near future? I said the Four of Wands. There it is, the Four of Wands. What is going on here? The bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So communication, quick communication here coming in. So the Death card represents an ending. Okay, let's just get through this and see, and then I'll clarify. The Death card represents a significant ending, a chapter in your life, a stage, a relationship, something that needed to end in order for a new beginning to come towards you. Okay, and that is the whole purpose of the death card transformation, right? Not just an ending, but one so something else can come to you. Okay, 
could be dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio um, aspect in your chart. The challenge here is the Ten of Swords. So this is something that just ends painfully, right? But the thing is that, you know, this challenge here is to realize that this is not happening to you, but it's happening for you. There may have been a major significant ending, a very painful one, okay? Um, somebody could have lied to you, cheated on you, you know, stabbed you in the back. I'm even hearing stole from you, okay? This could be just your time. But there's this ending, right? This challenge is to let it end, to let it go to rest. And I feel like some of you here are going to, because of this painful ending, you're going to have more balance in your life. More times, more experiences to celebrate, I'm hearing, okay? More happiness. You may not see it that way. Now, this could have been caused by um, a relationship or a person, okay? Just a person in general here who came into your life and betrayed you. I mean, hearing like jealousy, okay? I don't, let's see. With the romantic feelings of getting to know each other. This could be somebody here that you had just met. You just met and, you know, you kind of, with the deception in reverse, you saw through them. I feel like you did like them. There were feelings here. This is, okay, this is confusing. What is the three? We have the three of cups here as advice from spirit. Now, this could be a reconnection, coming back together. This could also be celebrating something, a party. Um, and the high priestess, okay, your intuition, something, something that is hidden. Three of wands. We have another three. Hmm. And the tower. It's almost like spirit is saying there's something that's going to come to light unexpectedly. Don't be in a rush to kind of know the answer. Just know that you're doing the right thing by walking away from this situation. And as you walk away from this situation, you're going to be, obviously, you're going to be happier, but there's going to be a reason. It's not that you're just going to be happier, but it's almost going to be like, okay, it's coming through. Okay. So it's almost like you left a situation or a situation ended abruptly and you were very hurt by it. I'm hearing so painful. <clears throat> and, um, but you couldn't see why. I'm hearing divine protection. You couldn't see why this situation ended at the time. All you knew that it hurt you. It was very painful for you. Um, <clears throat> so it was very painful for you, right? But Spirit is saying that, first of all, you're divinely protected. There was a situation that you couldn't see, okay? And that's why this had to end. There's also, okay, wealth, obviously wealth that is coming towards you that was did not need to be experienced through whoever this person or people were that you were entangled with. They need, did not need to experience this. All right, let's go ahead and clarify and see, you know, what's going on here. Because I had to like really channel that because I couldn't figure it out with the cards. So there was a situation that... <clears throat> You know, it ended, look at that, seven of swords, three of pentacles. And you were dealing with somebody sneaky, I think I said thief earlier, somebody who was sneaky. Now, they may have stole from you, or they were just a very sneaky person. But there was something happened to where their identity was revealed, who they were was revealed to you. Now, when, maybe you got it intuitively, or maybe something happened. There's the tower. Maybe something happened and it came to light. Whatever the reason that it happened, it was considered divine protection, right? What do we say? Rejection is divine protection. So they could have rejected you and did something that was very hurtful, but it was to protect you. Something that you couldn't see that was coming for you. And, you know, had it up to you, you may have stayed with this person, took this person back, whatever, it, whatever happened. Let's clarify the death card. 
the nine of pentacles see so yeah something came to an end here and i feel like it has to do with money coming in see knight of knight of pentacles what's the ten of swords and the challenge ten of pentacles i knew it aries you about to there is something coming in look at this sudden wealth sudden wealth gift here it's a gift. This doesn't even feel like something that you like. Now, it could be because you have a gift, like, and this money is coming in through the gift. But if it's not that, it's just like abundance is coming in because this is something that is just in your, um, what, do I, what is the um, word I'm looking for? It's in your, it's like your birthright. It's like, it was something that was always destined to happen to you, like well, let's just live in the lottery, okay? Because that's just the most obvious thing. It doesn't have to be winning the lottery, but like, you know, it's kind of like the energy of like when you were born, this thing was already predetermined. This destiny, this fate was already predetermined for you. Spirit knows this. You don't know this, right? Your ancestors, your spirit guides, everybody who's there to protect you know what's coming to you. You don't know it. And you were entangled with someone here who, whatever it was, they are not supposed to experience what you are going to experience, okay? We literally have the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, okay? Like, you are already abundant, whoever I'm speaking to you, are in an abundant mindset, but this thing had to end to make you single again because this person couldn't come with you. And I feel like you really like this person and they, um, you would have had them come with you. Look at that, Page of Cups in the Tower. And the Page of Cups, I think, flipped in reverse. I think I just flipped it over. So, Page of Cups in the Tower. You could have, something ended abruptly. Let's clarify the hangman. Oh, my goodness. The cards are trying to come out so much. Oh, my God. I hate when they make me work with these cards like this. I am so sore from working out. <clears throat> Y'all know I do like CrossFit working out. Like, I'm so sore. Page of Cup. I mean, Queen of Cups. There's that intuition. And the Queen of Swords is crossing on top of the Queen of Cups. Now, this could have been a third party situation quite, you know, obviously. I don't want to just go to that you know, scenario, but I do feel like that, right? Like somebody stopped communicating with you. It could have been fairly new communication. They stopped communicating with you, you know, um, not really getting a ghosted energy, but the hangman could be that. Yeah. Seven of swords. And they didn't tell you, they lied to you, right? They didn't tell you why they stopped communicating with you. They were hiding something, um, from you. And I, you know what I'm getting? Like this person, this person didn't even know why they stopped. Like that's how spiritually, you know, protected you were. It's like they were almost guided to run off course. They were guided to fuck it up for lack of a special, uh, lack of a better expression, right? They were guided to really just like run off the road with you. And it was like, everything was going so good between you two. And then all of a sudden something just happened. Like you maybe didn't even hear from them anymore because the hangman is here. Definitely there's two women here. So that could have been the reason. And then you look, you're also protecting yourself and following your intuition, Aries. Okay. Um, yeah. It was just like a tower moment. And it was like, wait, what? Right. But spirit is saying like you having something come towards you. Right. What is this for? What is it for? Wands? What is the four of wands? Oop. The cards are falling out. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to pull some more, but look at that. So the four of wands is clarified by the ace of cups. You were just dealing with somebody. I don't even want to say they could be a karmic. Like this person could have been triggering something in you to, to, to about yourself that you were like, you know what? Maybe you rushed into this connection you know, maybe you slept with them too soon, right? And it just needed to be a lesson for you. Like, hey, hey, you need to just, you know, slow down a little bit. But I mean, you can have fun, but you know, this is not even your person. And you may have felt like head over heels for this person. It's just not it. Because Spirit is saying, hey, we steered this person off track because you might have would have ended up with them. And this is what we have coming for you, right? This is what, look at this sun at the bottom of the deck. This is what we have coming from you. And so that just didn't need to work out. You possibly, that person was just a shitty person anyways. And for whatever reason, Aries, you couldn't see it at the time. Let's see here. <clears throat> the star. I keep, you know, y'all know I see things out of the corner of my eyes. I don't want to keep saying that, but yeah. Look in the four of wands again. The star and the, the ace of cups, the four of wands. Clarifying the four of wands. Queen of 
crazy situation and the temperance. So there's a need to be patient. Like, right, you're trying to, you want to be in a relationship, Aries. I see that. I do see that. All right. You want to be in a relationship. You want to be married. You want to be with someone. But like spirit is just saying um, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. And we weren't, we're not, excuse me, we're not about to have you settle for just anything. And that was what was about to happen. Like you, I'm hearing, you know, you were dating down. Who am I talking to? You know, you were dating down. Okay. And don't give me that, you know, there's somebody out there right now, high and mighty, talking about some, oh, well, I just see the good in people. They were ugly, okay? They were ugly. They weren't cute enough for you. Um, and that's okay. You can say that. And you know what? Probably what made them ugly was how they acted. Because I've seen people who are maybe not the most typical form of beauty who have, like, very beautiful spirits and souls and they are very attractive you know and then you have these good looking people or what you know what you would say american standard or the world standard of beauty and you get to know them and they're no longer attractive so there's just something here that you didn't see aries that your spirit team saw and they protected you and i think that's beautiful i did i mean i know you like them but it's kind of like that, excuse me, that's why I like the tower, you know, because it's like, I always tell people, explain it. It's like when you're holding on to something really tight and your spirit guides come in and say, let go, let, let go. Like you won't let go of it. You're like a little kid. So poof, we're going to make it blow up in your face. Like that's kind of how I explain the tower. It's like, it's not necessarily a punishment. It's that you won't let go of something that is not meant for you. And you're hurting yourself. Sometimes you're hurting people around you, right? Sometimes you're hurting your children because you won't sign the divorce papers because you just, oh, it's so taboo to get a divorce when, you know, both parents can be happy separate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, child, we're not even going to go there. But like, you know, Aries, if that was you, if this resonates with you and this, you know, happened to you, just know it was because you were being divinely protected from a narcissist I just heard okay from someone who was very lethal scandalous mm -mm, just say wasn't no good but the most important thing is that this is what you have coming in this is what you have coming in it's very exciting right it's very exciting it's a very beautiful healing love like complete opposite of this like I feel like somebody was desperate you were like in desperation to be with someone you wanted to be touched you wanted to be loved and you know there's nothing wrong with that I get it all right but that's what I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed the reading talk to you soon bye